In this video, we're gonna get back with the SBA 545. I have a new no recoil class set up with some attachments I unlocked through the armory system. I want to keep you guys up to date in the loop. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those notifications. Stay up to date with any and all best class setups as well as settings. Let's go ahead and create the class setup. All right, let's take a look at the new no recoil sva 545 class i got some new attachments unlocked for this weapon so i wanted to revisit it so you guys know exactly what you should be using now for this one we actually are going to be skipping over the rear grips for this assault rifle these are not going to help us out nothing has changed here now we are still going to rock a stock and the marquee r11 stock is still the absolute best stock to rock on the sva 545 to increase movement speed Firing aim stability, gun kick control, as well as sprint speed. Definitely a great attachment on this weapon. Make sure you guys have it equipped. Now for the optic, again, you still have two choices here. You can run the Slate Reflector or you could rock the Chrono Mini Pro. Now, I've actually went ahead and tried out the Slate Reflector on this weapon. I've actually started to really enjoy the Slate Reflector. And also, there's some weird bug going around that the Modern Warfare 2 optics might be might be throwing off the aim assist so until that's confirmed let's play it safe and rock the slate refractor because obviously we don't want to make things harder than they already are here in modern warfare 3. now we're going to be skipping over the laser these are going to be completely irrelevant nothing has changed here these are probably going to be relevant the entire year here in this game because they're not going to work for a lot of these mid to long range assault rifles now for the barrel we are still going to rock the stv precision barrel overall a great choice of this weapon Bumping up aim idle sway, bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, and recoil control on this assault rifle. If you go ahead and keep this equipped on your class setup, it's going to be the best barrel right now. Now for the muzzle, since we have the VT7 Spitfire, we're going to replace that shadow strike with this attachment. This is overall going to do everything we need on this assault rifle. We're not going to have any type of weird recoil loss or damage range loss. In fact, we're going to go ahead and gain those and get removal of the radar recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range. So everything that all the other suppressors are taking away, we have on the VT7 Spitfire, and that's why you want to run this on this assault rifle. And then finally, we actually are going to be rocking an underbarrel on this weapon. We're going to be running the X10 Phantom Handstop to smooth out that recoil pattern and give us increased sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed on top of the recoil controlling benefits. Overall, a great attachment. I've actually went ahead and equipped this over running a magazine and i've been really enjoying this build now once you go ahead and jump into the firing range you're going to see here that the sva even though we have a couple of recoil controlling attachments it's still going to have a quick ads because of the hand stop and it's still going to have less recoil so definitely go ahead and give this a try it is a melt machine definitely one of the top assault rifles next to the mcw right now for the man in the build, I actually went ahead and threw on the striker instead of the Lockman sub. Just kind of go ahead and have some fun here. I had the 60 round drum. I'm running the X10 Phantom 5 handstop on this weapon. Also, the X10 Black Kite because this is going to be doing pretty much what the VT7 Spitfire does for the submachine guns. We're going to have the Chrono Mini Pro on here. Actually, let's go ahead and swap that to the Slate Reflector and the Lockman Recon Series stock. Overall, a great attachment. Now, we are going to be running the stem shot, claymore, munitions box, quick grip gloves. We can swap the weapons faster, as well as bone conduction head tip. We can hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier. And obviously, if you're wondering how we could rock two primaries on the same class setup, the gunner vest is going to be an absolute W, giving us overkill, max ammo, and fast reload. It's literally so good. If you guys enjoyed this build, let me know down in the comment section. Want to go ahead and revisit the SVA because it is a fantastic weapon. And if you guys tear it up, Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. Let's get in the gameplays. What we can do here with this gun. Is he gonna take this shit? This is a juggernaut right now. Dude, this is literally a, a juggernaut recon right now. Oh god, he took it. Oh, I'm so dead. That thing has a shotgun with. Oh my gosh. I don't want to take it because I'm trying to get a nuke, but oh my gosh. 
Mm. Bonds are kind of chalked. But what's new? Got him. I think that guy's engineer on because he Uh-uh Good luck Was that rat shotgunner chasing me? Drop that there. For a fact, they flipped the spawns. Dude, buddy's literally. Oh, we got it. Bet. I was actually literally one off the nuke. Bro, look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. Dude, I'm literally twisted right now. I did not realize I was one off the nuke. Got off the of spawn. Literally spawned the kid in front of my, like literally inside of my sights. Ridiculous. guys he spawned around the corner yes he did he's in that room he's in that room you're gonna get blasted by a shotgun brother Rotate out. Surprised I actually won that gunfight in the game they give it to him. <laughs> Not too sure how I want to attack this. 
Oh my god. You can't even see the guy lying in the grass back there. All right, well, I think that's my cue to go ahead and drop this nuke because I honestly couldn't even see that kid back there. And I had to focus like, bro, I'm telling you right now, the way the maps wrote, I mean, not even the maps fall, it's the spawns. The spawns are just so bad that it's just not really making sense. And people are coming from areas where they shouldn't be coming from. They need to go ahead and do something with the spawns or give us 10v10 for real. All right, let's get busy with the SVA on underpass. This is actually, I think, one of the first times I'm playing underpass. I wonder how it plays on this game. I wonder if the spawns are bad, because the spawns on, like, a majority of these maps are pretty shitty, unfortunately, so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hopefully, underpass isn't one of those maps. But, uh, looks like there's a lot of kids sniping. I'm gonna rotate out. We got a kid rocking an M4 in here. Honestly, that's not really a bad. Wait, hold on. What the hell? Can I bust through this real quick? Oh, sh look at this. Oh my gosh. Get a rotation. Damn it, dude. literally failed his cruise missile though. <laughs> yeah, he fucked that up. Oh, we just busted this. UAV. Oh my god. On your six. Wait, he had a landmine down? UAV. I gotta rotate this kind of smart. There's a kid in the corner. Oh, 
Go, baby. Sniped. Oh my god. Fuck, man. They, how the hell they get a UAV? I'm tearing these kids up. I can ask. I need to play this as smart as humanly possible. Fuck, dude. Oh my god, that was... That was nerve-wracking, man. That was nerve-wracking, man. That was nerve-wracking, man, because if I didn't get that nuke, if I didn't drop... Quite literally all hope was lost. And this is a slow look I, honestly i think they need 10v10 in this game like 100 percent. i think 10v10 it needs to be a thing 100 percent. but we are at a drop that's what matters not too sure where they're coming from i know i know All right, well, I'm gonna call the nuke in. <laughs> Ooh, shit, bro, that was... Oh my goodness, dude. That was something else. 
Yes, hot underpass.